With his passing in 2019, Bruce Alcott Lister leaves behind a legacy of milestone contributions to his industry. A leader in the food science field, he enjoyed a rich career spanning more than 75 years, generously paving the way for future scientists and engineers to follow in his footsteps. Among Dr. Lister's many achievements are patenting food formulations, as well as working with NASA through Nestle to supply food products for each of the American manned space flights, including Mercury, Gemini, Apollo, Space Lab, and Space Shuttle flights. Dr. Lister was inspired to pursue his career because his father, James Lister, who graduated with a degree in mechanical engineering from Iowa State College in Ames, Iowa, in 1909. Following his graduation, his father spent a year in Panama working as an engineer on the Panama Canal. To learn more about his professional pursuits, Dr. Lister attended Columbia University, where he earned his Bachelor of Science in Chemical Engineering and his Master of Science in Chemical Engineering in 1943 and 1947, respectively. Following this achievement, he studied naval electronics at Bowdoin College and Massachusetts Institute of Technology, followed by post-war studies, where he earned a certification in food technology, also at MIT. Backed by a solid educational foundation, Dr. Lister launched his career at Central Laboratories of General Foods Corporation as a lab assistant in engineering research in May of 1943. He was promoted to junior technologist in November of 1943. However, in March of 1944, he joined the U.S. Navy in World War II and served as a lieutenant electronics officer on the U.S. Trapper ACM-9, a minesweeper, which cleared the mines in the Western Pacific area and Japan's Tokyo Bay. After he was discharged from the U.S. Navy in 1946, he returned to General Foods as a junior technologist. In September of that year, he re-entered Columbia University for graduate work, while he continued to work at Central Laboratories of General Foods at their Hoboken, New Jersey and White Plains, New York offices. In May of 1952, he was transferred to the Product and Process Development section of General Foods and became assistant laboratory director and eventually was promoted to divisional research manager. In 1962, Dr. Lister accepted an offer to work for Nestle Food Corporation, a worldwide company with its main office in Geneva, Switzerland. He continued to gain valuable experience at Nestle Food Corporation in White Plains and Purchase, New York thriving in a variety of positions until his retirement as the Vice President of Corporate Affairs in 1988. From 1980 to 1991, Dr. Lister also worked with the nonprofit Tea Association of the USA in New York City, contributing as Executive Director, the Chairman of the Technology Committee, and on the Board of Directors. He ended his career as a consultant, a role he assumed in 1989. In addition to his primary responsibilities, Dr. Lister also lent his expertise to several prominent organizations. He found success as a member of the Government Relations Committee for the International Bottled Water Association, on the Tea Committee for the UN Commission on Trade and Development, as the Chairman for the Standards Regulation Committee for the National Coffee Association, and as a trustee for the Cacao Biogenetic Research Project being conducted by Pennsylvania State University in 1988. From 1979 to 1990, he contributed as the president of the International Hydrolyzed Protein Council, a Washington, D.C. organization that explores the uses of and shares information regarding hydrolyzed vegetable proteins. A former Naval Reserve Lieutenant 
Dr. Lister also notably served as the president, the vice president, and on the board of directors for R&D Associates for the United States Army, helping to provide safe and high quality food and service to the members of the armed forces from 1966 to 1976. Dedicated to giving back, Dr. Lister maintained affiliation with several civic organizations. At the time of his passing, he was serving in various leadership positions. He served on the board of directors of the Bethany Methodist Home of Brooklyn, New York, Incorporated for over 45 years. From 1991 to 1996, he was vice president, and from 1996 to 2004, he was president. He was a trustee of the Council Against Drug Abuse in Baldwin, New York, vice president of the Baldwin Interfaith Conference, and head of many committees at First Church Baldwin United Methodist. Previously, he held the office of president for two terms in the Baldwin Republican Club, served on the Nassau County Board of Social Services from 1971 to 1974, and was the chairman of the Nassau County Board of Health from 1975 to 2005. Dr. Lister played a major role in the lives of future engineers and scientists. Serving as a member of the Foo Foundation School of Engineering and Applied Science at Columbia University Advisory Board, and on the Dean's Advisory Board for the Fred DeMatteo School of Engineering and Applied Science at Hofstra University, which awarded him an honorary doctorate in 1998. He further lent his knowledge and time to Hofstra University as a vice chair, a consultant, and a member of their advisory board, playing a key role in the construction of Herman A. Berliner Hall home to the departments of chemistry and physics and astronomy. A lecture room in the building is named the Lister Lecture Hall in honor of Dr. Lister and his wife, Doris. Together with his wife, Dr. Lister also established endowed scholarships in chemistry, forensic science, and engineering at Hofstra, as well as set up the Lister Summer Fellows Program to provide financial assistance to students conducting research at the university. Continually looking to stay up to date with changes in his field, Dr. Lister maintained the memberships with the Codex Elementarius Committee, the Institute of Food Technologists, IFT Emeritus, the American Institute of Chemists, the American Institute of Chemical Engineers, the American Chemical Society, a 50-year member, the American Association for the Advancement of Science, Sigma Xi, the Scientific Research Honor Society, also a 50-year member, and the New York Academy of Sciences, among many other technical societies. For his extraordinary accomplishments to his field, he was recognized as a Man of the Year by the Baldwin Republican Club in 1968, a Nassau County New York Senior Citizen of the Year in 2000, and the recipient of an honorary doctorate from the National Association of Food Equipment Manufacturers in 1973. He further received a Certificate of Appreciation for Patriotic Civilian Service from the U.S. Army in 1975. His achievements have further been commemorated in various honors and publications, including multiple editions of Who's Who in America, Who's Who in Science and Engineering, Who's Who in the World, and the 26th edition of Who's Who in the East.